His glares burn through me. And he knows that such actions aren't foreign to me because the essence of my beauty is, well, the essence of beauty. And in the presence of this higher being, the weakness of his masculinity kicks in, causing him to personify his wannabe big baller shot call God's gift to the female species with shiny suit rapping like, Ayo, hey, it's cracking, Charlie, how you living? What's your sign? What you says? I dig your style, yo. Now, this girl was no fool. I shot him a dirty look with the quickness, like, boy, you must be stupid. So he's looking at himself like, boy, you must be stupid. But looking upon me, he is kind of feeling my style. So he tries again, but instead of addressing me properly, he pulls out one of his fake ass playlistic lines like, girl, you must be a traffic ticket cause you got fine written all over you. <laughs> now I'm trying to leave and he's trying to keep me here. So in one last final attempt, he utters, girl, what is your ethnic makeup? Now, at this point, my, my glare was scorching through him, and somehow I managed to make my brown eyes resemble some kind of brown fire or something. But there's no snapper head moving, no palm to face, click of tongue, roll of eyes, or middle finger, no girl power chain, and I just glare at him. And her gaze grabs him by the throat, and I say, ethnic makeup? First of all, makeup's just an anglicized, colonized, commodified utility that my sisters have been programmed to consume, forcing them to cover up their natural state in order to imitate another sister's natural state. Because people keep telling her that the other sister's natural state is more beautiful than the first sister's natural state. At the same time, the other sister isn't even in her natural state because she's trying to imitate yet another sister. So in actuality, the natural state that the first sister's trying to imitate wasn't even natural in the first place. Now he's thinking, damn, this girl's kicking knowledge. But meanwhile, I keep spitting on it like, fine. I'll tell you about my ethnic makeup. I wear foundation, but not that powdery stuff. I wear the foundation laid by my indigenous people. It's that foundation that makes it so even though the past is being globalized, I can still vocalize with confidence that I know where my roots are. I wear this foundation not upon my face, but within my soul. And I take this from my ancestors because I'll be damned if I ever let an American or European corporation tell me what my foundation should look like. I wear lipstick for my lips stick to the ears of men so they can experience in surround sound my screams of agony with each lash of rulers, measuring tapes, and scales as if my waist and weight, my waistline and weight are inversely proportional to my value as a human being. See my lips? They stick but not together. Rather, they flail open with flames to burn down this culture that has once kept me sh shut. Now I mess with eyeshadow, but my eyes shadow over this time that I've, when you've gone to ends to keep me blind. But you can't cover my eyes, look into them. My eyes foreshadow change. My eyes foreshadow light. And I'm not into hair dying, but I'm here dying because this oppression just won't get out of my hair. I have these highlights. They're the highlights of my past atrocities. They form this depression that I can't wash off. They tangle around my mind and twist and braid me in layers. It stresses me so that even though I don't color my hair in a couple of years, it'll look like I dyed it gray. So what's my ethnic makeup? I don't have any. Because your ethnicity isn't something you can just make up. And as for that crap my sisters put on their faces, that's not makeup. That's make-believe. He, he can't seem to look up at me. And he knows that such actions aren't foreign to me because the look on my face shows that I know his mind is in a trance. As my footsteps fade, his ego is left in crutches and rejection has never sounded so sweet.